In today's video, I'm going to show you how I installed this skylight. I purchased this skylight from Home Depot for $120. So here it is. Here I am unboxing it. Now I do have to admit that when I picked up this product from Home Depot, I was surprised of how light the box was. And when I pulled it out, the skylight itself seemed a bit flimsy. However, I do live in California and the weather in California is pretty stable. So I definitely think we're going to be fine with it. It also comes with the nails and the instructions. And here are the instructions. The instructions have a size information chart, which tells you the size of roof opening that you need based on the size of your skylight. I first started by putting the frame together. The frame should be half an inch smaller than your actual skylight. And this is to leave room for your flashing. So here I am pre-drilling the hole for the screws. I always like to pre-drill the holes before inserting the screws to prevent the wood from splitting or cracking. And I am inserting two screws on each corner. Then I just flipped it over and repeated the process. I then took the frame up to the roof. I traced the inside of the frame to cut it out with a jigsaw. My heart rages around like an ocean in my head. I can Once I had the opening, I went ahead and placed the frame back in place and from underneath I went ahead and inserted the screws. Once I had all that done, it was time to work with the flashing. Now, I do want to mention that Home Depot has the flashing for your skylight. However, I did not notice that and I still had to wait another two weeks for delivery. Therefore, I made my own flashing. This piece I picked up from Lowe's. It's a three inch flashing and it was 10 feet long for $10. I first measured the size of the frame. Then I gave it three inches on each side. Then I went ahead and drew a 45 degree line on those three inches space. Okay, and here it is. Now I'm gonna take my aviation snips and I'm gonna cut on the 45 degree line. Then I'm just gonna cut this pointy edge off. There it is. Now I'm just gonna push this piece down and it's what's gonna go flat on the roof. Then this other piece, I'm gonna fold it, make sure I get a straight fold and it's what's gonna hug the frame. I repeated the process on the other side. Then I used the mallet to flatten down the edges. Once I was done with the flashing, I went ahead and installed the flashing around my frame. Now this is the last piece I have left. I make sure that the last piece I had left was my top piece. 
This piece goes right in here and then I nailed it in. Now, this is a new patio roof, which I have an upcoming video for it. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and install the felt and then I'll get back to the skylight. So here it is. The felt has been installed and now the skylight is being nailed in. So here I'm going to use some dry decks for the inside of the frame. My plan for the dry decks was just to fill in the gaps where the 2x4 meets the plywood. However, this 2x4 ended up being very rough so I just went ahead and applied it on the whole 2x4 to smoothen it out. And then for the rest I just went ahead and patched it up. So there it is, it goes on pink and it turns white when it dries. I took a 150 grit sandpaper to sand down all the bumps that was left. And last, I painted the inside of the frame using a flat paint to help all those little imperfections be less visible. And now for the final results. <laughs> 